We hear a lot about the men of the Old West, but what about the powerful, amazing women? And there's a lot of them. Chris Entz, one of the authors who will be at the Tucson Book of Festival, brings those women to life in her books. Thank you so much for being here with Thank us Thank you very much for letting me to come aboard and talk to you a little bit about what women did in the Old West. Of course, and I mean, before we get started a little bit, I want to talk about how many books you've written. Can you tell us? Yes, I have written 30 books wow. on the subject of the Old West. Most of them have been about women of the Old West. I've departed um, here and there to do biographies about Roy Rogers and Dale Evans and um, John Wayne. Right. Well, that's a lot of focused time. I mean, mm. you're, you are the authority on this, I would have to say. And so what is it about women in the Old West that people really should know? That women filled um, a, a large variety of um, work um, in a capacity of, of different areas of work. They weren't just um, little, little House in the Prairie, Laura Ingalls. They weren't just Miss Kitty from Dodge City. They were, uh, they were lawyers. They were doctors. They were women that ran their own businesses. Um, they were entertainers, such as the ones that we're going to talk about today. Right. You mentioned the way that women have been portrayed in the West mm -hmm. throughout culture. Why do you think it's differently than the way that that really happened? I think that that is um, something that most people identify with in terms of what women did. They mm -hmm. don't, and there's not a lot, there hasn't been a lot written about what the women attorneys did out west, or the women physicians did out west. So you, you do have it with Dr. Quinn Medicine Women. Once in a while you'll have those programs that depart from mm -hmm. that. But for the most part, I think people are just familiar. They want to do stories that they're familiar with. Right, and so all these women that you've studied, I'm sure it's hard mm -hmm. to say, this is my favorite, but do you have a favorite? I do have a favorite. I particularly like um, Lola Montez, who was known for the spider dance, and she traveled all over the West doing the spider dance, and uh, was a very popular entertainer. And the spider dance was just basically uh, millions of corks painted black hanging from the ceiling with string, and she would come out during the music, dance inside that a mishmash web of, of yeah. corks, <laughs> and then dance out of it. Huh. So it was a spider dance. <laughs> That's a little bit different than what we see these days, but I'm sure back then people were, were fixated on, on what they were seeing, right? Well, you know, we have so much entertainment to choose from nowadays, but this was the old rugged west and there wasn't a whole lot to do. So if you went to see the spider dance, you thought, this is fantastic. <laughs> and, and you mentioned the, the 30 books over that you've written. What drives you to identify and highlight the women of the west? Well, I like writing about the West as a whole. Uh, I do think that that is an area that people are always wondering what happened to the frontier. It's very exciting. Yeah. And to have an extra layer about what women did and their role in settling the West. It wasn't just being a mother. I mean, a lot of these ladies came with their fathers, their, their husbands, their brothers, and they died en route. And then they would end up in the Old West with really uh, having to figure out what to do on their own. Right, right. In a, in a time when people weren't going to let you do much but teach and be a soiled dove. <clears throat> well, I mean, I think anyone who has the power to take history, any part of it, tell it like a story, really humanize the people and the subjects that they're talking about, I think that's an incredible talent. I've had, you know, a teacher in the past who actually taught history, and she had the ability that you have, which is to, again, take a character from the past and sort of give them a personality. And, and as an author, do you, did you really study history or is this something that you've just sort of honed in on uh, as you went on? I did um, like history an awful lot. I had a wonderful history teacher when I was in high school, at Buena High School in Sierra Vista, by the way. Um, and it just kind of spurred my interest forward to write about those great women of the Old West. And Westerns, anyway, are just incredible. And not only am I going to be there talking about my books mm -hmm. of the West, but there will be the Western writers of America are going to be at the booth not too far from my booth. That's so the, uh, cool. At and, the festivals. And for you, what's it like to come out to festivals like this and share your work? It's, it's wonderful to be able to, to meet people who are not necessarily aware that um, Westerns had more to do than just the Louis L'Amour type mm -hmm. Westerns. Right. They, they always hone in on that kind of thing, the, the Max brands, although they're great. Um, but there are just so much written about the women of the West. And uh, not only am I going to be there talking about my book and, and the booth, but Nancy Plain, who's a, who's a very celebrated, very much celebrated author about uh, women of the West, she'll be there. And Melody Groves and, gosh, Candy Moulton will be there. 
Sherry Monahan. There's just a lot of women well, that will be there talking about women of the West. We're really looking forward to it, and we're so glad that you got a chance to come and share Thank your story you with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. People really need to go out and find you. Thank you again. And you know, if they come to the booth, I'll give them a free booth. There you go. I'll, I'll remind them so, of that too. Yeah. Uh, so, go ahead. To meet Chris Entz, you can visit booth one, two, three at the Festival of Books this weekend. If you mention the morning Monday, you can get a free book, like Chris just said. For more details, log on to chrisentz.com.